Mary Brown had a People article come out, and it says that she has gone on a few dates after looking. She's looking for a king. And I have something to say about this. Good for her. I'm glad she's dating. I'm happy to see it. I will be very excited to see it on the show. Um, I don't know if we'll actually see the dates, but I feel like her talking about her feelings about dating and all that is going to be far more interesting than whether or not she doesn't like circles <laughs> in her interior design or not. I'm looking forward to it. You know, when she was dating Amos, which was the last guy that she went public with, and people were like, oh, he did this and he did that. I was like, it's fine. We all dated, maybe maybe not you, but I definitely dated a lot of guys that were not a match for the rest of my life. And I learned a lot. Uh, this was a deal breaker. This is not a deal breaker. I can put up with this. I cannot put up with that. And just because she's an, she's older, older than me, um, and was married for, well, she was married for at least a couple a dozen years before he totally abandoned her. But doesn't mean that she doesn't have still a lot of stuff to learn. So I'm excited for her. I will say... I'm looking for a king always makes me like roll my eyes because it's part of that whole, I don't know. I don't know. Whenever I hear people talk about like, I'm looking for my king, I'm going to be my queen. I always, I'm like a little like, oh, but you know what? It's not my relationship. Whatever baby talk they do or whatever, that's fine. She later on in the article goes on to say that a lot of people are princes, they're boys, but she's looking for a king. Um, I don't totally know what that means, but you know what? I, I'm interested. I want to hear more. She talks about that she's been on several dates since Amos. Um, I, and I don't consider Amos to be a failure. So if you don't remember Amos, he, we, we met him online. And then it came out that he'd been married like four times. He had had multiple bankruptcies. And it was like any one of those is not a big deal. But you start getting a bunch of them, you do start to worry. And then he couldn't handle the public scrutiny. An ex-wife came out and said he was behind on something, all of that. And they ended up breaking up. But you know what? I, I dated, I, I can't, I'm, I don't want anyone going through my dating history with a fine tooth comb. So I think, you know what, just let her be. I'm happy for her and I wish her all the best.